today we're going to be doing workout C of the $1,000 weight loss challenge. Um, just like the times before, we're going to go through two um, simultaneously exercises. So 1A, 1B, and then we're going to do that two to three times, and then move on to A to B all the way down to the eighth exercise and ninth exercise. So we are going to be doing again workout C today. What we're going to start doing is the plank. The plank can be done in a couple of ways depending on what level you're at. The most important thing is getting the abs to work and getting the lower back to stay completely flat so you're not arching through the motion. The plank is done on the forearms. So you want your shoulders and your elbows to line up. You're going to come up, if you can, on the balls of your feet. Your legs are going to squeeze together. Your hips are going to lift and then you're going to draw the glutes in and down and then just hold. You're supposed to hold for 60 to 90 seconds. If that's too much at this point, we're going to drop down to these. You're going to still do the exact same movement. You're just going to keep holding those abs tight. You want to pull the hips and ribs towards each other, each other, sorry, and then pull the belly button up. Again, 60 to 90 seconds. If you just need to, come down, come up, and that's, again, going to get you to work a little harder, but you have that little bit of rest at the bottom. From there, we're going to go to push-ups, and we're going to work on full push-ups. So what we're going to start is actually at the down part of the motion. For girls, make sure that your hands are directly in line with your nose. With guys, you can go up actually a little bit higher so you're directly in line with your eyes. You're going to take your toes underneath you. You're going to activate your legs. Your, your uh, quadriceps are actually going to leave the ground and lift. Squeeze the glutes from there. And I want you to try and do a full push-up to the top. Keep your abs tight without the back swing slowly all the way back down. If you need to, again, if that's too much, you can take your toes underneath you. Still activate everything and then go up from your knees all the way back down to the ground. Nice and slow and controlled motion. Your head should stay neutral so you're not like this and you're not pulling down. Again, once you get down, those hands should meet up either with the nose line or the eye line. You're going to go right back into your plank position, squeezing your glutes, your hips, your abs. Holding 60 to 90 just seconds, 40, 60 to 90 seconds, doing either this or just holding on your knees. Again, right back into your push up, activating the legs, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abdominals, lift up, full extension through the arms, and then slowly going all the way back down. Again, you're repeating that series two to three times. If you can, try and get that three times in. It's a hard combination of exercises. From here, we're doing a dumbbell squat offset load. Um, I like to call it a suitcase deadlift as well. You're going to take a weight. Um, you can go a little bit heavier with this exercise. You're doing a squat, but you have the weight beside you. It's going to offset your balance. So you're going to have to um, actually get the side of the core working. So you want to try and go all the way to the ground. Again, with the squat, your chest is up, your shoulders are back, and you're just going from that squat position, position sorry, to standing down, staying on the heels, back up. You're doing 12 per side, so do 12 on your left side. If you can't go all the way down, go as far down as you can and then come back up. Again, make sure you're not locking the knees at the top, they're always slightly bent. And then you'll go 12 on the other side. Really keep that core strong so you're not leaning when you're doing it. You should just stay in a normal squat position as you're going. From there you have alternating dumbbell press. So the dumbbells are starting at the shoulders, feet are close together, knees just slightly bent, as tight, glutes squeezing. Alternating press is one arm, then the other arm. One arm, then the other arm. You're doing 15 per side, so we're going to actually start to go simultaneously at the same time. One arm's going up, the other arm's going down. It should fatigue the shoulders pretty quickly, and then you can really start to speed it up until you get to 30 repetitions. Once you've done that, again, going back to your squat offset load. Squat down, stand up nice and tall, squeeze the glutes down and up, 12 per side, and then right back into those alternating double presses. All right, we're going into a single leg deadlift again. This time the knee is going to be bent. So the last time with the workout B, you actually get your leg straight. We're going to do the same thing, but this time we're bending at the knee. So that back leg can again just be a little bit on the ground just to help you balance. You are going to use two dumbbells for this one. Same thing, you are raising the leg with the dumbbells, but this time the knee bends. So when you're going forward, you really just get that knee nice and low as you bend, and then you stand up. So you're aiming for the, the tongue of the shoe or the top of the shoelaces with your shoes. Again, only using that back leg if needed. Otherwise, you're going straight down and then back up. It's a hard movement to do with that balance. 
Once you've done all your reps on one side, you're gonna go to the other. Keep the core nice and tight, abs nice and strong. Use that back leg when needed. So that's the bent leg deadlift, single leg deadlift. The next, um, the next motion we have is chin-ups or jump chin-ups. If you're at a gym, you can do this. You can use the Gravitron, which actually helps you go through the chin-up motion. Um, you can use the lat pull-down machine for home purposes. We're going to be doing tubing um, pull-downs. So you're going to want to put the tubing at a higher place, preferably around a railing. Um, but the lat pull-down, you're standing fairly close, but you're pulling the elbows wide and then pulling down using this main part of your back here. So you should feel the lats activating as you do this. Knees bent, abs tight, pull back and down, all the way up, back and down, all the way up. So squeeze the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades back, but you should feel this in that big back muscle group as you go. All right, chin-ups and jump chin-ups, something you can do at the park. If you find you have a park close to you, you can always try and go to monkey bars and jump up to a chin-up. You don't have to do the full chin-up, but give yourself some variety if you can with this exercise. Awesome exercise for pretty much every single body part. Um, you have to use those abs when you're pulling up and everything. The last two exercises are alternating lateral lunge. So we're going to go starting with our feet together. When you do the lateral lunge, you're stepping directly to the side. Hips go back, feet come together, hips go back. Just like the squat, you don't want the knee traveling forward on the bent knee. Once you've done the, the uh, reps on that side, then you'll go to the opposite side. Really pull in with the inner thigh as you're coming up with that. The last one is a two-point dumbbell roll. Last time we did a three-point dumbbell roll, so the arm was on the bench. This time we're using both the dumbbells. You can do it two different ways. You can either go with two legs bent and bring it up to your hips, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Again, this is another back exercise. If that's uncomfortable, you can take your opposite leg back, keep the spine nice and long. It's the exact same motion, it's just a different leg motion, depending where you're comfortable. So again, either here with the legs together, or the leg back, keeping the spine long, length the tailbone out, and there from there. Again, go back to your lateral lunges, and then go back into the uh, rows. That's it for workout C. Again, it takes about 30 minutes. Work hard.